this area, graphics and visualization, and is now senior research scientist at Intel, Bill Mark. Bill, come on up. First public demo of our new baby, maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so it's a great baby. I'm really excited to be able to talk about it. Uh, so what we're showing you here is uh, an application that demonstrates some of the flexibility of Laravee. And it's running on the Laravee software development vehicle. So this is the early silicon. And uh, it's also got some other Intel goodness in it. It's got an Intel Golf Town CPU. So uh, what I'd like to uh, talk about is what makes Laravee unique. So what makes Laravee unique is you get a fully programmable rendering pipeline. So this lets you, in addition to standard DirectX, OpenGL, you can also implement customized rasterization pipelines. And uh, maybe even more interestingly, things like voxel rendering and ray tracing. So um, if you look up on the screen here, so this is the demo running live, and uh, this is a ray tracing demo, right? So what we did is we took content from um, splash damage, uh, and it's software, so it's, uh, the game is called Enemy Territory Quake Wars. We took that content, the textures and geometry, pulled it out of that game, and put it into our ray tracing game. So uh, ray tracing is a well-known technique, um, but traditionally it has not been used in real time, so now we've got it running in real time. And what makes it special is it allows you to um, simulate the interaction of light with matter in a way that's accurate. It makes it really easy to get effects like shadows, and reflection, and so forth. So as an exam example here, if you look at the water, you see a nice reflection, and that's done with only 10 lines of shader code. It would be a, a lot more difficult to do in a conventional game engine. Um, for programmers, uh, what's interesting about Laravee is not just the flexibility, but also the ease of development. And so let me just give you a specific example of that here. Um, so uh, you see there's some moving objects in the scene. There's some uh, helicopters actually temporarily back. And um, that's traditionally difficult in array tracing. Um, but what we've done here is we rebuild some of the key data structures, every frame, on Laravee, using a form of parallelism called task parallelism. And so um, what this is really showing is that you can do the same kind of things you do on a multi-core CPU, but with even more parallelism. And so um, you know, very easy to use. And it's actually written in C++, and you get the standard uh, memory model that programmers are used to, a cache coherent memory model. And um, you know, in contrast, to do something like this on a conventional GP would be really quite painful. Um, so uh, really what we're trying to do with Laravee is keep the simple thing simple. So um, I'm really excited with what it's going to do for real-time rendering. And uh, it's really great to have the hardware up and running. Great. Okay, Bill. Thanks very much for our first demo. Thank you. Thank you.